does this say to you about Derek Jeter? Well, it, it makes you proud of Derek Jeter. Um, he's doing everything right as usual. Um, the idea that it's a peaceful protest is one thing. He's absolutely right about that. The idea that people are caught up in the form of the protest rather than the message, he's absolutely right about that. And incidentally, he didn't even mention, kneeling is a universal sign of respect. Nate Boyer, uh, a military man who has an open letter right now to our country on ESPN.com, I suggest you check it out, uh, and a very thoughtful guy, said you know, addressed this with Kaepernick. He wanted Kaepernick to stand. Kaepernick didn't. They came up with the idea of kneeling. You know, talk about reaching across to the, to the other side and having some sense of understanding because kneeling in every culture around the world that I'm aware of that ever existed is a universal sign of respect. So, so even, but that aside, it shows that Derek Jeter represents in this case a diverse viewpoint, something that's been missing at the ownership level along racial lines and we know this this issue breaks down along racial lines and so those who say that this is all about uh, unity and everyone needs to rally behind the flag in a certain way are ignoring the racial divide they're ignoring the value of diversity and the idea that maybe what they assume the assumptions they make about how people are feeling about an issue simply because it's their feeling and their feeling ref reflects the majority is not the way everybody's feeling about the issue I applaud Derek Jeter, Stephen A. Well, listen, here's the deal. So do I. Um, he usually does everything right, and uh, this is one of those instances. And what I love about this is that it's, Je it's Derek Jeter speaking out, which is something he wasn't prone to do as a player. In other words, you graduate to certain positions. He's a player. He's a part of a team. You have to conduct yourself in a certain fashion when you're a player. But now that you're a, a, an owner, uh, you have authority. And as a, uh, with authority uh, comes the role of being a spokesman, per se, on certain issues because you have to let everybody know what you stand for, what you're supportive of, what you would be diametrically opposed to. And that's what he's doing here, and I think that he definitely deserves to be applauded for that. But if you get into the particulars and the, into the weed of things, what he's saying is making total sense. And he's talking about peaceful protest. You're not talking about a guy in Colin Kaepernick who in, inhibited anybody's ability to come and watch the game, uh, to watch the game be played. Uh, he didn't do anything in regards to that. He didn't stand in anybody's way. He didn't have the gates blocked. He didn't interrupt traffic or anything like that. Even though if those kind of things happen, it's understandable because in the America that we live in, when you're protesting, uh, it, it may be designed to be peaceful but it's not designed to make you comfortable. And think people like Derek Jeter... It's supposed to be disruptive. Oh, that, that, that's right. People like Derek Jeter understand that. But there's another point that needs to be brought out, and, and this is an aside and away from Derek Jeter to some degree that I wanted to touch on. When Marshawn Lynch was first brought to the Oakland Raiders, Jack Del Rio made it very, very clear that he wanted people to stand for the national anthem. Marshawn Lynch let him know that that's something that he hadn't done throughout his career. Nobody said anything. A matter of fact, I think it was August 12th or August 13th. It was the Raiders' first preseason game this year. Marshawn Lynch sat down on the bench eating a banana during the national anthem. Nobody said a word. Not a word. But somehow, some way, when we learned that sitting for the national anthem was disrespectful, but nobody says anything to Marshawn Lynch, Colin Kaepernick kneeled to show respect and deference to the Green Berets, to our American servicemen and women who've represented our country. And somehow, some way, it's become problematic with him. How come nobody has been, how come none of the critics or cynics out here have been challenged on that point? How is it that Colin Kaepernick kneels, shows respect, and it's blown up to astronomical proportions, not just nationwide, but worldwide, as it pertains to our national anthem Steve. and disrespecting the flag and what have you. And everybody's got something to say, but Marshawn Lynch is sitting, and I'm not knocking Marshawn Lynch or anybody, I'm just pointing out facts. The man was sitting down, eating a banana during the national anthem, and no one says a word. Can somebody explain that? Well, I'm not sure, but uh, I, I want to take it back to Jeter for a second because it, what well, it can seems you answer that to me is going first. on I, I, that Marshawn Lynch it hadn't become a, a hot-button issue yet. 
Some people can, I always thought Marshawn Lynch was the kind of guy, had the kind of personality, he's charming. People, he's able to do things that other people maybe would catch flack for because of that. But I, I wanted to talk about, I wanted to, I don't, I, I don't, maybe I don't have a great answer for why that is, okay. Stephen A. Uh, 